Uh, everybody stop talking now. Attention. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. Want to be Sunday listen? I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. Never again defeat me. Never again say that I'm going to be defeated. Never again make me the underdog until I'm about 50 years old. Right. Then you might get me. But I didn't dance. I didn't dance for a reason. I wanted to make him lose all his power. I kept telling him he had no punch. He couldn't hit. He's swinging like a sissy. He's missing. Let me see your box. I hadn't started dancing yet. You can't say my legs are gone. You can't say I was tired because what happened? I didn't dance from the second round on. I stayed on the ropes. When I stay on the ropes, you think I'm doing bad. But I want all boxers to put this in the page of boxing. Staying on the ropes is a beautiful thing with a heavyweight when you make him shoot his best shots and you know he's not hitting you. I would have gave George Soma two rounds of steady punching because after that he was mine. But he was falling. He was missing. I don't know if I'm going to fight again or not. I'm going to retire as of now. I have to talk to my leader, the most honorable. Are you still planning to retire? I said, I'm alaikum to all the Muslims. Thanks to Almighty God Allah. I want all of you fans out there who believe in me, read the Muhammad Speaks newspapers, go to your local Muslim temple, and learn more about the life-giving power from Allah through Elijah Muhammad that I've got. You saw all the white people, the critics, the world, had me ranked to go down. This was their man, and Allah, God was with me, and this man looked like nothing. Well, I want you to remember that.